Hello everyone, welcome back to another short episode PS Simple. Today we are going to discuss the difference between precision and accuracy which is very very important with the help of an image. Before that just a little update for you. Uh, if you still want you can subscribe to uh, Unacademy and take the iconic subscription Prepladder and Unacademy both at discounted price before the price is hike. You can use my code PSM10 and get a 10% off on your subscription. Also, this is this amazing offer. We are launching two-month subscription, 6750 only. And um, you can use PSM10 for another 10% off and two-month subscription on a 12-month subscription. Now on Unacademy, you can also raise your hand and ask your questions directly to your examiner. So you can directly talk to me on my classes if you join the Plus platform. So let's see what we have to study today. Today, we're going to study the difference between precision and accuracy. Before I tell you what is precision, what is the what is this image showing us let me tell you what is accuracy all right there are different terms for accuracy it is also known as validity and let us write this side precision precision is also known as repeatability reliability or it is also known as consistency. Now, what is accuracy or validity? Accuracy or validity of a test means that it is the degree how close a test is to its true value. That means, does the test measure what it's supposed to measure? Okay, so you can say that it is the degree of closeness. to a true value or in other words accuracy is also the ability of a test to distinguish diseased from non-diseased is that okay how close can we get to the true value precision or reliability is it simply means that the findings are reliable repeatable in different settings okay that is what is the meaning of precision okay now let's try to understand with the help of this image so look over here if you look at the first image the center point over here the center point for each of this represents the true value that's what we have to aim so if you look at the first diagram every time that i've hit the dart it has gone and hit at this point but it's very far from the true value so this has precision because every time my findings are the same it's coming and hitting at the same point so finding are replicable but it's far away from the true value okay so the findings are far away from true value so it is lacking accuracy but every time it's hitting the same point so the findings are repeatable precise look at image number two uh, graph uh, this thing if you see every time my dart is hitting at different points okay but it is closer to the true value all right it is closer to the true value once it has also diagnosed it has also hit exactly at the true value so this lacks precision this lacks uh, precision because every time the dart is hitting at different points but it's closer to the true value so has accuracy but lacks precision look at the third image here the darts every time are hitting at different points also so findings are not replicable so lacks precision and it's also farther away from the true value further away from true value so it also lacks what accuracy if you look at the fourth image which is actually the best or the desired image over here what do we see we see that every time my dart is hitting at the exact value okay exact value and all the time all the time so my findings are both repeatable as well as that is precise as well as accurate Okay, now in stats, you have certain charts which can measure precision and repeatability. Precision and repeatability can be measured by a range or R chart and accuracy or validity can be measured by what is known as a Levy Jennings chart. Okay, you can just know the names. It is known as a Levy Jennings chart. Maybe this can come as an option or it is also known as mean chart. Okay. 
the chart to measure repeatability starts from range R chart and the other one accuracy is Jennings chart of mean chart. So this image is very important. You could be given four image and asked what is the most desirable. So it's the fourth one. So I hope you understood this. Thank you so much for watching.